So we're not going to need to use these stock clips to secure our CPU cooler, so we'll go ahead and remove them. They're each held on with two screws. Then you're going to want to take the bag of thumb screws labelled M4, M5, and we're going to screw one of these onto each corner. So if you're going to be installing the cooler and Intel motherboard, the first thing to do is install your back plate. Now these clips on the back plate can go in two different positions. They can be pushed all the way inside for LGA 1200, or for LGA 1700 or 1851, you're going to want to make sure you pull all the clips to their outer setting. Once you've done that, it should line up with the holes in the back of the motherboard. Then you're going to want to grab the right spacers. The circular spacers are for LGA 1200, and the ones with the little notches in are LGA 1700 or 1851. And you're just going to, need to push one of these onto each corner. So we're now ready to start working our I.O. and it's great to see our fans are pre-installed on the radiator. So all we need to do is connect up the included fan cable. So it's just a matter of plugging one of them into the cable into each of the fans. And then on the other end of this cable, we've got a four pin PWM header, which is going to go into our CPU fan header. And we've got a three pin five volt RGB cable, and it's going to go into an RGB header on our motherboard. Coming from our pump, we've got three cables, a four pin PWM cable, and this is going to go into our IO pump header on the motherboard. We've got a three pin five volt RGB cable to control the lighting effects on the pump. And again, it's going to go into an RGB header on our motherboard. We've got a daisy chainable connector coming from it, so we're actually going to be able to plug our fans and the radiator into here, meaning we're going to need to use one RGB header on the motherboard for the whole of the I.O. Final cable is a USB cable, and we'll plug that into a USB 2.0 header on the motherboard, and that's going to allow our pump to get all the system information and display it on the screen. So if we take a closer look at our pump, you can see it's got thermal paste pre-applied. I'll go ahead and remove the plastic protection. So we're just going to need to take care that we don't damage this during the installation. Next thing for us to do is add the brackets to secure to our motherboard. So I'm installing this in the AMD motherboard, so I'm going to line the AMD brackets up and we'll secure them into place with the included small screws. So you're going with an Intel motherboard, simply fix these two brackets instead in exactly the same way here. And then I'm just going to pop the plastic protection back on until we're ready to install things. Next I'm going to set our top fan stroke radiator bracket into place and I'm going to secure it using the eight included short radiator screws. So I've already sized it up and I want to have my tubes coming out towards the left hand side of the motherboard. So I'm just going to route my cables up and round the bracket, keeping them organised, making sure they're staying away from the cold plate. And then I'm just going to line the pump up with the motherboard. I'm then just going to want to get a thumb screw onto each corner. I'm just going to double check none of these cables are getting caught in under the cold plate, which they're not. And then I'm just going to tighten up each corner in turn. Then I'm just going to pull all these cables through. So I'm just going to route the PWM cable up to the top and over. And just in beneath our CP opt header, we've got our AIO pump header. I'm just going to route our other cables up into the channel as well. So we've got another RGB header just beneath the one we've already plugged our system fans into. So I'm going to bring the cable back in through and get it plugged into here. And the ARGB splitter cable I'm just going to leave in this little raceway at the top and we'll plug our fans on the radiator into it. We've got two USB 2.0 headers down the bottom of the motherboard so we'll go ahead and get the cable plugged into one of these. And then we'll just tuck all the excess cable in and out of the way at the back. So just before we set our I.O. into place at the top I'm going to join the ARGB cable into that splitter cable coming from our pump. And I'm going to pass the PWM cable through this little cutout and we'll get it plugged into our CPU fan header. And then I'm just going to pull all the excess cable out to the back, and we'll lower our AIO down and into place. And this stage we can secure the fan that stroke radiator bracket down with the five screws. And we can remove the plastic protection from the pump. Yeah. 